Well, hey there, guys. In today's video, we're going to discuss whether this is the uh, Midlife Crisis Channel or not. And if it is, I'd like to know where is my Porsche? Uh... Hey there, guys. This is Rock Hard Riffs, the guitar channel for the self taught. Cool guitar, dude. guys this is rock hard riffs the geriatric guitar channel for old has-beens well you know like the old saying it's better the has-been than a wannabe or something like that where is my Porsche uh well I don't have a Porsche uh in fact I don't even have a car so midlife crisis channel I don't know if it is hey I could do a lot worse and speaking of guitars we've got another one we're gonna be showing you soon this is a brand new guitar very cool make sure you subscribe and uh, you can check this baby out. Oh, is it gorgeous. So, moving on. What is this, guys? What's with all the guitars and stuff? I mean, the thing is that, uh, you know, there's some channels where there are people, they have, like, closets and closets and rooms and basements full of guitars and equipment and stuff that they never even use. Some they don't even know how to use. You know, it's anybody's business. What they do with their stuff is their business, just like what I do with my stuff is my business. Is this a midlife crisis channel? Well, you know, Mrs. Beans, I asked her about that before I started shooting this video. I asked her, Does this, is this a midlife crisis channel, do you think? And she said, if your back wasn't so screwed up and you were doing this, she said, yeah, you might be able to consider it a midlife crisis channel. But seeing how this is all I can do, and sometimes I can barely even do this, not so much. I do this to occupy my time. Now, if you weren't aware, I have all kinds of screwed up uh, back issues. It's not just my back, it's my leg, my opposite shoulder, all kinds of crap, my neck. It's just uh, too much wear and tear, too much hard play when I was younger. Yeah, and it'll do it to you, so be careful, guys. So, why all the different guitars then? Well, really, tone really is the pretty much the basic answer, tone. And, you know, why not? And I've been laid up for a long time. Mrs. Beans, I have to hand it to her very much. I have to give her a lot of credit and appreciation. She knows that this has been really tough. I mean, you know, a lot of people have been, they were locked down for, what, six months to a year from COVID? Well, this has been over four years for me. This is all I do. This, and I lay in bed or on a couch, because that's all I can do. But to get back to the point, Mrs. Beans is responsible for several of these guitars. She's been very, very kind about it. The Epiphone Les Paul back there, that was a birthday gift. Uh, one of these was a Father's Day gift. This John Lennon was just a pity <laughs> gift for me because she was feeling so pitiful about me. You know, th that's very kind on her part. And, you know, I can't say no. I love each one of them. I play each one of them. Am I trying to recapture my old days? Eh, not really, because in the old days, I only had just like every struggling musician or artist, whatever you want to call it. I only had a few guitars and one or two amps and sometimes only one. Most of the time, only one amp. I never, for the most time, even had a backup. So, But, you know, you get older and things change, etc. You have children, you have families, things change. And I wanted to get out of the scene when I was younger, primarily just to be very frank with you, because of a lot of the people that uh, were involved in it and the drugs. And that was pretty pretty much it. The drug scene was extremely bad in the 80s, extremely bad into the 90s, of course. And a lot of the people that just came with it, and people that I knew very well. Just uh, one guy got shot in the head over a $20 guitar. Stupid things like that, and just, just, just lots of stupidity is really what it comes down to. I shun that. Long time ago, long time ago, I shunned that. I don't hang around those people anymore. I don't want any contact with any of those people. I don't want any contact with any of that stuff. I don't drink. I don't do anything these days except take pain medication and lots of that. In fact, I take it just before I make my videos. So sometimes, like right now, I might be rambling or kind of stuttering. It's because I'm on drugs, literally, pain meds. But anyway, guys, I love each and every one of these guitars. I use them all. I try to showcase them all in case somebody is interested in a particular guitar, especially like newer Gibsons. Uh, we have the SG and the Flying V here. These are fantastic guitars. Gibson is back on their game as far as I'm concerned. The Epiphones that I have are absolutely top-notch. I would compare any of these with the Gibson guitars that I have also. These are just so well made. I just think it's time for them to get the heck out of China. 
uh, things, you know, are just kind of ugly that way. You know, go to Vietnam or somewhere else. Go to Mexico, Epiphone, do something. Get out of China, be my, be my suggestion. Also, we have the Japanese-made e ESP E2. Talk about a killer guitar. I mean, at, right down to the last detail on that guitar. Just absolutely fantastic. My Epiphone ES335, just behind my telly over there. Talk about tone. Tone and tone. Just fantastic guitars. I love them. They're fun. Hopefully you guys can get something out of it, just as much as I might get something out of it. Now a couple things as far as the channel goes, you might notice that we don't really do any cover music anymore. We've done a few, not a whole lot. I'm trying to avoid that primarily because of the copyright issues. My personal opinion is that if you own the copyright to something, it is absolutely your business what happens with that uh, intellectual property. Whether you want somebody to do to cover on it, to, to cover it on YouTube, or wherever it may be, it is completely your right and your business whether you want to allow that or not. I have absolutely no issues with copyright stuff. None whatsoever. So, I do a lot of my own original music, and that's all copyrighted too. So, again guys, we sell CDs, right? If you're interested in buying a CD, name your price, let us know in the comments, name a price, and we'll see if we can do business. That to ship these, it's about $5 anywhere in the United States. So whatever you might want to suggest, add $5 to it. And if you, we can come to a number we agree with, right on. I'll send you some of our CDs, one or both of them. That's RHR1 and RHR2. Very cool stuff. Also, guys, we sell t-shirts. If you're interested in that, take a look down in the description. There are links for that and hoodies. One thing we do not do, guys, and that is Patreon. I just... Uh, I just have a problem with that. I think that YouTube should be the one that pays the people that put out regular content. And, uh, you know, how much, eh, you know, how much is it worth? That's, that's really a tough one to decide. But nevertheless, in order for this channel to make any kind of money or anything, which isn't really what we're about either, but hey, it doesn't hurt to recoup a little money. We sell CDs, t-shirts, and hoodies. And if you're interested in that, we certainly appreciate you purchasing one. That and we collect a little bit from ad revenue. And believe me, ad revenue is not much at all. <laughs> not much at all. But, you know, it's better than a kick in the teeth. So that's what we do, guys. That's what we're about. We're here to help people that are trying to learn guitar. If there are old timers out there that may be something that they could share with us, that's very cool. If there's something that I can show you that maybe you didn't know, all the better. We're all the better for it. That's what we're here for, each other. We're not here to, to be a jealous or envious channel of other channels. I know that's a big problem with YouTube, that uh, people just attack each other for really for no other reason other than just they're just immature uh, is what it comes down to, unfortunately. But, you know, that's life. Again, YouTube, the Internet, etc., is a reflection of society. It's just on the Internet, it's exaggerated quite a bit because there are no repercussions to what you say or do. But I don't live my life that like that. I don't know about you guys. I try to live by a certain code of honor. And that is very important to what we do. And with the channel. All right, guys. Leave a comment. We certainly appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. And you're going to check out more of our new gear, including that new guitar. Very cool. You're going to love that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. We'll see you next video. Where's my Porsche? Uh...